Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Bugaviti, head and neck surgical oncologist. Little bit about my profession. I am a head and neck surgeon. So what does this head and neck specialty deals with? We generally deal with oral cancer, throat cancer, thyroid cancer, sinus cancer and difficult tumors of the neck. So this is a sub-specialization in surgical oncology which deals with exclusively with uh, tumors of head and neck area. So today we will see about oral cancer. So oral cancer is the most common cancer seen in India. It is the most common cancer seen in males and it corresponds to 11% of the total cancers that occurs in male population. And it is the fifth most common cancer in females. Roughly around uh, 5% of the all the cancers occurring in women in India. So what are the causes of oral cancer? As you all are aware, usage of tobacco in any form will lead to oral cancer. Most common form is chewing tobacco like gutka, chewing is the most common cause or smoking. So usage of tobacco in any form is the most common cause for uh, throat cancer, for oral cancer. Apart from this, the combination of uh, usage of tobacco and alcohol is more dangerous. And uh, there are a couple of pre-malignant conditions which can convert into cancer. Patients suffering from oral submucous fibrosis. This is a condition which is seen in people chewing tobacco for a long term, where they have whitish uh, discoloration of the oral skin and the mouth opening is reduced. So these patients and those with white patches in the mouth, mainly in the cheek and the tongue, or the red patches within the white areas, we call it as erythroplakia. So these conditions can uh, progress it into, if left untreated, can progress into oral cancer. So the most common causes for the oral cancer are both tobacco and alcohol. What are the subsets of oral cancer? In the oral cavity, there are many areas. So the most commonly it is seen on the tongue. On the tongue, the cancer occurs on either side of the borders of the tongue, very rarely on the top of the tongue. And the other areas are the cheek and the jawbone and cancer can also occur on the lips. So first, let us talk about the most common thing, the tongue cancer. The tongue cancer generally presents as ulcer on the lateral border of the tongue. We generally get ulcers, so we should not be scared whenever you have an ulcer. Ulcers which are not cancerous will generally heal within 3 weeks. Any ulcer which is not healing even beyond 3 weeks and causing persistent pain, then you should be worried, not worried, you should be cautious and then consult a nearby doctor for proper evaluation. So the most common presentation of tongue cancer is an oral ulcer which has been there for some time, which is not healing and causing constant discomfort and pain and pain into the ear. Very rarely you can see lump on the tongue. This is caused by minor salivary gland cancer. This is a very rare presentation. And uh, next most common subside is the cheek cancer. Even in the cheek, the cancer presents as an ulcer most of the times. Mostly on the side in where the patient keeps his tobacco due to the constant irritation on that side, there will be ulcer in the cheek. And sometimes there can be a fleshy growth on the cheek. So it can present either as an ulcer or as a fleshy growth on the cheek. Cancer can also occur from the jawbone. Jawbone cancer also presents as an ulcer on the jaw or a little irregularity on the jaw, which causes constant pain and which is not healing. Sometimes the patient only notices loosening of the teeth. There is no ulcer seen and visible outside, but suddenly which are normal teeth, they start becoming loose and they fall off. So the patient should be cautious when this happens and consult the doctor for proper evaluation. And the lip cancer, lip cancer also presents as an ulcer on the lip and which is not healing, causing constant pain and discomfort. So these are the most common presentations of the oral cancer.